I can name a million things I'm not. Yeah. The only thing I am is real. No smoking on that real kill, breaking his One of the best casts out of any animated show in history. <clears throat> I remember when I first started watching this show, I thought the characters <coughs> not only had unique designs, but also had interesting personalities that made them all stand out. And as no I cap. got older, I started no to cap. feel like I really regular show in the in the Cartoon Network. Mount Rushmore, their face is up there. If we're gonna, if we're ranking cartoons that came from Cartoon Network, regular show gotta be at least top two. In my opinion, it's interchangeable with Adventure Time because there's some things that regular show has that Adventure Time doesn't, and there's something that Adventure Time has that regular show doesn't. You see what I mean? He resonated with many of the characters more than when I was watching as a kid. But even though I love many of these characters in this show, there's always been one character that I've always had a weird relationship with and that was Mordecai. Because if I'm being honest, when I first started watching this show, Mordecai was one of my favorite characters, especially in the earlier seasons. But I remember as the show would start to get into the later seasons, even though I couldn't exactly put my finger on what it was, I would begin to really dislike Mordecai as a character. Mm. And it was only after I revisited regular show again now that I'm in my 20s that I nah, was able no to cap. realize something no that cap. was so- there, Damn, hold on. When- that one episode, I forgot what was it. I think it was like a solid episode or something like that, bro. Like when they were doing solids or something. Was it that? I don't know, bro. I just remembered Mordecai and Rigby, they, they transported. They were doing time travel on a microwave. This nigga Mordecai going to fuck around and just push Rigby off of the microwave. And then he just kills him. I think, and then I think it was over, uh, what should you call it, bro? What's her name? What was the Red Bird's name, bro? Margaret. It was over Margaret. I said Margaret. Oh my God. Fucks. And after I realized this, you wouldn't believe my time so Yeah, that one, that, that one. That I'm one. not the only one who feels this way. As a that episode, of the bro, what's yo? That episode really made me like question Mordecai as a character. You know what I'm saying? As well as casual watchers don't understand the Mordo hate train. So in this video, I'm gonna go over a couple of episodes that really made me and will probably make you hate Mordecai. Now, something that gets looked over a lot when people talk about Mordecai's character is just how scummy of a friend he really was. And look, mm. don't get me wrong, Mordecai does have moments where he's actually a good friend for example when he won the excellent challenge so that he could win the truck i had for rigby to get him out of his coma but while mordecai does do some big things like this that make him seem like a good friend a lot of people ignore his day-by-day -day trash behavior let's take a look at how he treats rigby for example and no i'm not going to use the infamous i'll kill you ah uh, see bro see this scene this exact scene bro no bro it's time as a knock against him because what a lot of people forget about that scene is while Mordecai did push Rigby off the microwave, Rigby pushed Mordecai first, and Rigby was the reason they were even on the microwave as Rigby jumped on Mordecai's back as the microwave was warping. On top of that, Mordecai screaming out, I'll kill you, wasn't supposed to be taken serious as Rigby had told that to Mordecai multiple times throughout season one. And clearly the instant regret Mordecai had on his face when he saw Rigby fade into nothing showed that he wasn't intentionally trying to hurt Rigby. Or at least he wasn't in that moment, because if we go to the season one episode Death Punches, it tells a completely sure. different story. The episode starts off with Rigby and Mordecai getting a new video game, and obviously after getting the new game, they want to start it up and start playing. And right as the two go okay, to pick I'm their characters, have to go, I'm they begin to- I'm gonna go lock back in and just binge watch the whole series of regular show again, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, my sister keeps typing in chat, yo. Okay, good night, Bree. Good night. It's time for bed. It's 8.30. Good night. To argue over who's gonna be player one. Both of them want to be player one because player one has a shovel, while player two has a quote-unquote sucky pickaxe. Eggs. So mm. to settle who gets to be player one, Mordecai suggests that they both play punchies, a game where whoever punches the other one the hardest wins. Mm. Rigby goes first by throwing his punch which doesn't even phase Mordecai. Mordecai then takes his turn by punching Rigby all the way across the sofa with the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> Rigby then complains about how it's unfair that every time they have to decide something, Mordecai makes them play punchies because he knows there's no way that he can beat Mordecai. The episode then follows Rigby as he tries to find a way to beat Mordecai in punchies. He then learns a Def Kwon Do technique called the Death oh, Punch. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this now. Mordecai learns about I remember Rigby's this now. plan and goes to the same Def Kwon Do dojo to learn a technique to keep Rigby from beating him at punchies. The two then have a Def Kwon Do But I mean, dies. but I mean, if anything, right, if you're going to do something, okay, let's, how can I say this? How can I say this? In some cases, right, if you want to like get a certified dub, you want to like take the like, most advantages as you can. It's not really cheating. It's just, you just 
picking up advantages, bro. That's really it, bro. Rigby uses the death punch and Mordecai uses the death block. And as you could guess, Mordecai's death block cancels out Rigby's death punch, leaving them both at a stalemate. But Rigby doesn't give up, continuing to spam the death punch over and over to the point where him and Mordecai are in an underground crater with lava flowing in. And while Mordecai is telling Rigby to stop, Rigby refuses until he beats Mordecai at punchies. It's then that we get a montage of Mordecai beating up Rigby throughout the years through several games of punchies. And when Mordecai realizes that Rigby won't stop until he wins a game of punchies, Mordecai lets him win and they both escape. Okay, now, so let's take a look at how Mordecai treats his friend in this episode. So we know from this episode that Mordecai openly acknowledges that Rigby is the weakest person in the park. Because when Rigby says that he can never beat Mordecai at punchies, Mordecai says this. Dude, you don't beat anybody at punchies. I mean, that's not like a personal problem my opinion Rigby but Rigby gotta hit the gym you know what I'm saying get that boy some creatine get that boy some protein powder get some milk calories that's on Rigby that's on Rigby I know cap bro Rigby don't want to get the weight bro that nigga lazy as now from this clip it's obvious that Mordecai not only knows that his friend is physically weaker than him but also takes advantage of the fact that he can physically bully Rigby around. Mordecai purposely picks a game that he knows that Rigby could never beat him in so that he can consistently have his way. But not only does he beat Rigby at punchies he takes is that wrong the though? fact that he can physically beat up Rigby. I mean look at this clip does this look like someone who's just playing a game with their friend? <laughs> and we see in this episode that Mordecai consistently beats up Rigby hey, no, just on. playing a game Foot with on the back while getting your shit hit from the side is crazy. Pause. Whoa with their friend and we see in this episode that Mordecai consistently beats up Rigby to the point where Rigby would rather die being burnt by lava than let Mordecai win another game of punchies and the craziest part is this isn't even the worst time Mordecai was a complete jerk to Rigby in the season 6 episode live with your back we see that Mordecai and Rigby are working when CJ pulls up to pick up Mordecai early mm -hmm. Mordecai then asks Rigby if he can cover for him so that he can go with his girlfriend and Rigby trying to be a good friend says yes we then cut to another day where Mordecai and Rigby are working and Mordecai asks Rigby out the blue if he can cover uh, for him so yeah, that he can Ah, damn, this nigga is an asshole now. I see the Rigby pattern. Rigby, being a little bit more reluctant this time, still agrees and says yes. We then cut to yet another day of Mordecai asking Rigby if he can cover for him. Yo, I hate so those. Can... No cap, bro. I hate these type of niggas at work, though, bro. Like, the niggas that be, like, just throwing their, job, their work at you and expects you to do it type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate those type of man go do something with cj and rigby even though and then you go tell your manager about it and then your manager doesn't do anything about it doesn't want to still Some trying manners, to be a good bro. friend says yes we then cut to a park meeting where benson's handing out everybody assignments and benson tells mordecai that he needs him to help rigby change light bulbs to which rigby says that he can do it on his own rigby is then laughed at by everybody and is told without mordecai he would be completely useless and Rigby, mm. looking for his best friend to back him up and say that he's useful, has to sit in front of everybody and hear this. You're basically the opposite of useful pretty much any time we do anything. But that's mm, not even the case. Ayola, Ayola, Ayola. Let any of my partners say that sh I gotta crash out, bro. I gotta get the dual wheel. Dual wheel deagles with switches on them. I might fuck around and mount the switch on top of the switch. Double switches. <laughs> Let that sh go, bro. No, bro moment the craziest part is when rigby brings up how he's been covering for mordecai for almost a week now mordecai says this well i mean it's the least you could do like there's genuinely no way i could be friends with someone after they told me it's, this it's rigby the least ends up putting a job at the park and he ends up getting a job at a moving company <sighs> where you have to lift everything with your back and even though rigby does hate the job he's sticking through with this so that he can get his first paycheck to rub in mordecai's face to show that he actually is useful at the end of the episode rigby has to move an entire truck by himself to get his first paycheck and Eileen who's been supporting Rigby throughout this entire time brings Mordecai because she wants them to make up. Rigby then begins to argue with Mordecai saying that Mordecai only uses him and treats him like trash. Rigby help me get a girlfriend. Let me borrow your time machine Rigby. Rigby I found a dumb sweater and I gotta return it. All you do is use me man. But I never asked you to do those things. And the craziest part about Mordecai saying this is if you've watched all the regular show you know that he's lying. That Mordecai is, yeah, oh god oh the god bruh. Like, he would be like, Mordecai would be like, hold on, let me lock in, let me lock in, let me lock in. Dude, can you go, like, wash the car while I go hang out with CJ? No, that was a, that was a terrible impression, bro. Rigby, and Rigby, oftentimes trying to be a good friend, tries to help Mordecai out. But Mordecai is so self-centered that even when someone is consistently doing favors for them, he will look them in their eyes and tell them that's the least that they can do. And I think what I hate most about this episode is that although Eileen had good intentions, she says this. Ah, Eileen! Why'd you bring that guy here? 
Because you guys are friends and you always support each other. But the problem with this statement is, it's not true. Mordecai almost never supports Rigby when- All right, whoa, 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 okay, wait, 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 that, I call cap on that I've definitely seen several times Mordecai has supported Rigby. Didn't he help him? Didn't he support him getting his uh, GED? Mordecai's still a good friend at the end of the day, but he just has, he just has fucked up ways, but he has toxic traits, you know what I'm saying? He's just a toxic bird. Let's jump all the way to the Season 7 finale, Rigby's Graduation Day Special. One of the many plot points of Season 7 was Rigby going back to school so that he could finally graduate. And this episode follows Rigby Wait. as he prepares to give a Graduation Day speech and the rest of the park members preparing for Rigby's Graduation Day party. And throughout this episode, you see that everybody's all excited for Rigby, everybody's doing their best to make sure that Rigby has the best graduation party, everybody's oh, so happy except for Mordecai. Mordecai throughout this episode is consistently blowing off Rigby. He's consistently acting like he doesn't want to help with Rigby's graduation party. And when Rigby reaches out to Mordecai multiple times asking him for help with his graduation day speech, Mordecai tells Rigby that he needs to learn how to do stuff on his own and blows oh, him off. Shit. Even though Rigby had oh, been doing stuff man. on his own for almost the entire season. And it's only after Rigby completely fails at giving his speech the first time. Uh, okay, all right. Maybe Mordecai is a bad character, but he probably still has some good in him. Some good. Just a little bit. Dang, he called me he called me in 4K, bro. That just that just sold everything. This time around, almost embarrassing himself in front of everybody that he knows that Mordecai actually comes up to Rigby and tells him why he's been acting the way he's been acting. And this was Mordecai's whole justification of why he's been blowing off his best friend on one of the most important days of his life. It's hard to see you doing so great. I guess I always kind of liked that I was doing better than you before. Mordecai liked the- Dang. I just like doing better than you. Now I'll be tight too. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be tight too. The fact that- Or a little bit questioned like, you know what I'm saying like, what do you mean by that? Better than Rigby. And when Rigby looked like he was going to be on the same level as Mordecai, Mordecai couldn't handle it. Now tell me, does that actually sound like a real friend? Someone that you would want to have around you? Or does that just sound like a hater disguised as a friend? Rigby's graduation day should have had nothing to do with Mordecai. It should have been a celebration of Rigby's hard work and accomplishments. Right. But all Mordecai could think about is how it makes him look worse by comparison. But I promise you, this isn't even the best example of how Mordecai will take something that has nothing to do with him and try to make it completely revolve around him. In the season 6 finale dumped at the altar, the episode starts off with Mordecai confused about what to do after he finds out that Margaret has feelings for him even though he's with CJ. Mm -hmm. Mind you, while Mordecai's focusing on a love triangle, everybody's preparing for muscle man's wedding we then fast forward to the actual day of the wedding and mordecai still caught up on his love triangle even though he's supposed to be helping set up for the wedding fast forward again in the episode and muscle man is freaking out because he says he won't get married until he reads the letter that muscle dad wrote for him mordecai and rigby are then assigned to go to muscle man's trailer and find the actual Woo, letter. whoa bro oh, bro bro, go go bro what Man's is that and find bro what is like what type of ah for the letter more I actually puked in my throat relationship issues and Rigby tells Mordecai that he just needs to trust his gut the two end up finding the letter and rush back to the ceremony to give it to muscle man to read but muscle man is so emotional he says that Mordecai has to be the one to read it to him out loud and Mordecai does read the letter which then gives muscle man the strength to start the wedding back up again but before they can continue the ceremony Mordecai hijacks the wedding by grabbing a microphone and going on a rant about finding his true love and not knowing if his his soulmate is even in the audience. Mind you, his girlfriend is literally in the audience listening and watching all of this happen. And as you could guess, CJ gets up and storms out crying. And Muscle Man calls out Mordecai for hijacking his wedding while everybody's looking at Mordecai like the jerk he is. Because this man didn't know which girl he wanted to be with. So he just, so he just, so he got caught up in the love triangle so hard. He just decided to get up in the middle of his home. I thought my door open in the middle of his homeboy's wedding and just to sort of just rant and crash out. Well, let me not say crash out. That's not really a crash out, but just started to just trip. He tripping. Already had a girlfriend and his best friend Rigby told him to trust his gut. He thought the best thing to do was to hijack one of his closest friend's weddings after reading the emotional message that his dead dad wrote for him for his wedding day. I don't know about y'all, but I don't think it gets any more self-centered than that. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I so Mordecai's is narcissist. I used to like Mordecai as a character. And what mm. I think the worst part about Mordecai's character is, he never really gets any real repercussions for the stuff that he does. Like even after he hijacked Muscle Man's wedding, nobody really told him anything. And it's like Mordecai acts like a jerk time after time again, and he just says, I'm sorry for it, and the audience is supposed ah! to take that. Look, all I can say is we're Team Rigby over here. But if you made it to the end of the video, please hit the like button as it pushes the content out. I to got with you, my brother. And make sure to subscribe. I got and you, hit my the brother. Bell. I got you, my brother. I'm not going to subscribe. Uh, I like your content. I'll subscribe. I like it. She 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 hey, wake up, David. <laughs> yeah. Hey, word to my mother. I will crack a nigga skull for playing.